Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at engraving a coin, or at least attempting to. Uh, one of the viewers of the channel had written in uh, about engraving coins for coin ring making, and I thought this was actually a pretty interesting topic as one of the focuses of this channel is to develop uh, sort of cottage-based industries. and. Uh, after checking it out, it looked pretty interesting. So while I'm kind of doubtful um, that we're going to make any progress, I thought, heck, why not give it a try and see what happens? Because I think one of the problems is going to be the metal is going to dissipate the heat too fast to, to really mark it. So we're going to try a couple different things. So one of the things that we're going to start with is um, because of my day job, I end up traveling the world quite a bit, and that's why I kind of find this a little bit interesting, is I have a lot of coins from around the world. So I've decided to give this a shot with a uh, two-penny piece or two-pence piece from Great Britain. Heck, you know, they're exiting the EU, so uh, their coins aren't worth a lot now. A little Brit-X humor there, I guess. Anyways, um, the concept here is uh, I'm going to set up a job in in cut 2D. Now the um, the coin itself is about 26 millimeters so I'm going to set up my work surface to be about 26 millimeters across um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the thickness to 50 millimeters because the idea is, is I'm going to make 100 passes with the laser. Now you have to remember this is going to be engraving initial so that, I mean it'll go through 100 passes actually pretty darn quick. Um, and the, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the zero, or sorry, at the center of the coin and then work my way out. So I'm going to, I'm going to hit accept to accept the design. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text. And then so I'm going to go here and I'm just going to uh, do the letter S. And um, I'm thinking of how do we want to do the letter S. So I have a number of fonts. Uh, we had Star, Jedi, blah, blah, blah. Um, just trying to see which one is probably the most interesting. Yeah. So what I've settled on is Old English Text. I think that'll look kind of cool. Uh, and it gives us a nice bit of outline. So again, I've chosen an S, which is the first initial of my wife, and I figure if this actually works out, then I've got kind of a neat gift to give her. Uh, if not, oh well, it was an experiment. So now what I've done is I'm going to apply this now and close this. And then what I'm going to do is kind of center it on the, so it's centered on the coin itself. So we'll do this. And um, so now we're going to go back and we're going to select this path. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select our laser cutting tool. Now, one of the things that I'm going to show is, so this is, this is set this is a typical one I use for cutting acrylic. So 0.5 millimeters a second, um, uh, pass depth one millimeter. So, uh, sorry, I thought I was, it's going to make 50 passes because I made it 50. I thought it was 0.5, so I got the numbers mixed up. So instead of 100 passes, it'll do 50. Um, and we'll see how that goes at 50. We can always up it again. The cut tool diameter is about 0.2 millimeter. So we're going to, you know that's pretty much what it what it works out to be of the curve size so we're gonna hit OK and uh, we're gonna go back and we're going to calculate this path and so we now have the path calculated so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna select our uh, CO2 laser post processor and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the G code of this off and um, then we're gonna go over to the laser so with this, let's hop over to the laser and take a peek. Okay, so we're at the laser and we have our coin. So this is a two pence uh, British coin. And just so nobody yells at me, I'm not going to use the front with the queen, but I'm going to use the back as my target. <clears throat> I also have my infrared thermometer, so I want to do some measurements of temperature. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up very close to the, the, the front so I get maximum laser intensity, if you will. So there's a little, um, 
you know, attenuation. So now I'm going to line this up and I'm going to put center it because as you recall, I'm gonna back this up. Whoop, drop that one in there. Uh, I'm using a, a washer to shim the uh, height up. I've already, in general, aligned the screen to uh, the screen bed to be about the height, so I've got that just about set. Set for the center. Now, what I want to do is I want to measure the temperature. And the temperature is 65.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, because this is metal and this is reflective, big safety note, um, I'm not going to watch this as it's doing it, so you'll get to see it on camera as it's happening. Uh, I'll probably uh, fast forward through all the 50 repetitions. I'm also wearing the appropriate safety glasses, both safety glasses and laser protective glasses um, for this machine, so any reflected light out of here, because I am going to leave the top open. I'm not going to run any ventilation or um, air assist on this because it's just a metal coin, so I don't think there'll be too much there. And so, uh, again, safety notes out of the way. I am going to launch the, um, the job. Okay, so the uh, job timed out it ran 50 now one of the things before I grab this um, it's lost temperature I measured it and it's it's reading now 67.2 degrees when I measured it mid cycle while the laser was dumping into it I was getting approximately 71 72 degrees so it did raise it above ambient but uh, the coin is a little bit warm. It's a bit to pry up. Yeah, the coin is definitely, actually, uh, it's pretty warm. It won't burn you to the touch, but I, I don't know if you can see, and I'll do a close-up. There is absolutely no mark on this coin whatsoever. So I think that's um, pretty much a bust. What I want to do, though, is I've got another one I want to try. So this is actually a Hong Kong dollar. What I've done is this is a silver coin, silver colored coin, not silver. And um, I've covered it in black marker. Now I don't have any laser etch. I wish I did. I might try to get some and then redo this experiment in the future. But again, I'm going to just run the same job over again with the black etch and see what happens. So let's go ahead and let's rerun the job. Same exact job. Uh, just run it over again. By the way, this job took six minutes in real time to run. So the laser fired into that coin at full power for six minutes. So didn't do anything except make it warm. So let's uh, send the code. Okay, we're back. So again, six minutes of dumping laser. This dissipates heat pretty quick. Eh, not too quick. It's still reading about... Whoops, let me get, re, re get this reading again. So it's still reading about 70.7 .7 degrees. And so let's de-energize the laser for safety. And pop this off. Woo! This one's a bit warmer. Now... Wow, this one is, this one, I think it's warmer than, yeah, this is reading, <coughs> sorry about the cough, 
I'm getting about 83. I think this, this coin's close to 90 degrees, so with the black it did read a lot more. But um, there is absolutely, even with the black ink on here, it made the coin hotter, but it, it still dissipates the heat too quickly to the surrounding material to do any type of etching at, at 35, 40 watts. So um, this is clearly a no-go on, on uh, etching coins with a 40 watt laser. I'm not, sh I'm not so sure what wattage you'd have to get to. I'm thinking you would have to get maybe 120 or above, I'm guessing. So if you have experience with that, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to know what wattage laser do you think would take to um, etch a coin. Again, I'm thinking at least 120 for starters, maybe up from there. So uh, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you were thinking about it for this type of project, well, again, sorry to say it, it won't work. If you want to warm up your coin, this thing is still pretty warm. Um, this is probably the way to go about it. So anyways, hey, thumbs up, subscribe, yeah, give a thumbs up, stuck to my finger, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next uh, video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.